In this lesson, we are going to be talking about how to add and subtract polynomials. So here is our first uh, question. So what we're going to do here is you're going to look for the terms that look the same. What I mean by that is this one has a B4 and this one has a B4. So they're going to go together. And then this one has a B and this one has a, B. sorry, they don't go together. That's wrong. So, so here we have a B, so that'll go by itself. And then here we have a B3. So what we'll do now is we're just gonna go write it down. Now your teacher might ask you to do it with the exponents going from smallest to largest, or some teachers will ask you to do it from um, largest to smallest. So 4B4 take away 4B4, uh, what am I saying? 8B4 take away four, that means you're only gonna have four B4s. You're not gonna change the exponent number. That only changes when you do multiplying, dividing, or when you have it like to the power of. But when you're just adding and subtracting like this, then these exponent numbers don't change at all. The next one I'll do is the B3, and then the next one I'll do is the 3B. So I did it from largest to smallest in terms of exponents. But your teacher might ask you to do it from smallest to largest. Here's our next example. So I'm gonna highlight all the V2s, so there they are. And then I'm gonna highlight all the V3s. So there we go, and there we go. I'm gonna start with the V3s. So we have minus seven, take away one. So you might even wanna just do that on the calculator if you're not too comfortable with that. So it's negative seven, take away one, which is negative eight V3s. And then here we have seven V2s plus another seven V2s, and so that's gonna be 14 V2s. So for this one, this is quite a long one. We're gonna get to some really long ones, by the way. And I'll prove it to you. Check this one out. So we're gonna be doing that one shortly. So with this one, I'm gonna highlight all the Bs, like that. Then I'm gonna highlight the B2s. Okay, there's only one of them. Then the B4s would go in its own color. And then the numbers will go in its own color. And then I'm gonna do it from highest to lowest in terms of exponent numbers. So that's gonna be three B4. Then the next one is a B2, so that's negative four B2. And then it's the Bs, so I'm gonna put these two together. So that's three take away two, which is one. And then the numbers, which would be two add seven, which is nine, so plus nine. And then here's the super long one, but it's really easy. All we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all the X4s in one color. It just makes it so much easier for you not to miss anything. And then we're gonna do all the X3s in a different color. Then we'll do the X2s. Then we'll do the Xs. There we go. Do we have another one? No. And then I've run out of colors. So what I'll do for the, for the numbers is I'm just gonna circle them. That one, that one and that one. Now what I can do is I can make sure that I haven't left anything out. Nope, I've highlighted and I've circled everything, so we're good. So now we're just gonna put all the X4s together. So that's six plus eight, which is 14, plus another eight, which is 22. So we're gonna say 22 X4. I'm then gonna scratch it out because I know that that's now done. Then we're gonna move on to the X3s. So that's negative eight, add five, which is negative three, add another five, which is two. So that's gonna be two X3. And then I'm gonna scratch it all out. Actually, we don't have to, it looks ugly. So let's do the X2s now. So that's gonna be negative six, negative six. That's gonna be negative 12 X to the power of two. And then for the Xs, that's in red. So that's negative two. And that's the only one we had, okay. And then it's the numbers. So that's gonna be negative seven, add three, which is negative four and then add another three, which is negative one. So there we have it. The next two examples, so this one's gonna have X's and Y's, and then the next one's also gonna have brackets. So hang around for that. So now when you're highlighting here, so this is a X3, Y4. Some learners, they say, oh, this looks the same, because it's also got a four and a three, but it's not the same. Here the X's are three, here the X's are four. So they have to look identical, so these two, those two can go together, so those. And then there's the x4, y3, and the x4, y3, and then x2, y2. And so what happens now is we're gonna say seven plus six, which is 13, x3, y4, 
and then we're gonna do I, I, I mean you can choose you can choose whether you want to do it from largest to your teacher might say do it from largest to smallest for the X's or they might say largest to smallest for the Y's or they might say smallest to largest for the X's you must just see what your teacher says okay so there we go 13 and now we're gonna do these ones over here so that's gonna be one take away six which is negative five so that's gonna be negative five x4 y3 and then what else do we have oh then we just have this little guy so that's gonna be negative x2 y2 and here's our last example so what's important here is that this negative is outside this entire bracket so what happens is that this negative is gonna go inside there inside there and inside there these brackets aren't really necessary because there's nothing in the front that's happening. So we can just take them away. Now we're going to multiply the negative inside. So it's negative 5n plus 8n squared plus 5n cubed. And then what we're going to do is just do what we've always done. We're going to go combine all of the like terms. So for example, this 4n3 is going to go with this 5n3. And then this 4n2 is going to go with this 8n2. And then this 5n is just going to be by itself. So what happens now is that um, the 4 and the 5 is going to give us 9n3. The 4 and the 8 for the green ones, that's going to be 12n squared. And then negative 5n.